gas and a cop car. And we're gonna go shoot some guns right now. I think I think three guns is a little much to handle. <laughs> Hey guys, so today might be the first car meet of the season, kind of. I don't know how big it's gonna be, but it's uh, Saturn's Drive, like a little cars and coffee thing. We're gonna go there, gonna see where the day takes us. It's a pretty nice Sunday, so I'm sure there's gonna be some cars out. I already saw some cars from the meet. Looks like it should be decent, but let's go see what we find. So first car at the meet is this Mercy. It's a first-gen Mercy. You have an SV style wing. Good thing about this Mercy is it is a manual, but SV style wing, LP640 style front with a little bit of SV mixed into it. Uh, but very cool, this is actually the first Mercy I ever rode in, I think like seven years ago. So here we have Lucas's GT3 Touring with, I don't know, probably 25,000 kilometers right now. It's trying to catch up to me. 991.2 GT3 RS, 992 Turbo, Huracan uh, Evo, 570, another Huracan right there. Two F12s, honestly, you don't see a lot of F12s anymore. I noticed everybody kind of went to the A12s and these are, in my opinion, a bit of a cleaner looking design. I don't know about the yellow one, but the red one's pretty nice. And then one of these I haven't seen in a while, 650S, I think they age very well. I don't know if I'd like to own one out of warranty, but very cool. Then a 570, another one here. Then here's a new six cylinder McLaren Artura with a first gen Gallardo. I really like these first-gen Gallardos. Actually, I think they age very well. Personally, I don't really know about the kit, but the Gallardos themselves are pretty cool. And then behind that, we have the Huracan and a Pista, which pretty low-key, I barely even noticed that car is here, and it's one of the coolest cars here. But yeah, the Huracan in white looks kind of cool. Yes, and a cop car. So I suspect this Huracan Supershark has a VF sticker, and the exhaust pipes are like the Performante style. Then 430 Spider, pretty cool. It is an F1 transmission. We have some 458s over there. The yellow interior looks so good. Too bad it's an E-gear bot, so you're not gonna see a manual one of these around here. But man, such a good spec, so clean. This car aged so well. So we're on the way to wash cars, and right there you can see the LP640 from the meet. So here's a car I didn't even know was on the road yet. This is the new Urus S, not the Performante, so this is kind of like the facelift for the regular Urus. Honestly, the inside looks exactly the same. You can tell the screen says S. That's kind of the only difference I've noticed on the interior. It's mostly on the exterior. So you can tell on the front, the bumper is completely different. The hood is different. The headlights look kind of different to me, but it might be because of the bumper. But the car just looks completely different. Very nice facelift, refreshment for the car. I was trying to get a little bit old, but not that bad. So as you can tell, my car literally has not been washed since probably November. So today I have some... Uh, 20, 20, 2018, before the car came out. Uh, but yeah, so now I have some slave labor and we're going to wash the car. Nah, they're going to wash my car. Let's watch. office and we're washing cars now adam doesn't own a detailing business no that's not what he does this right here looks like a regular land cruiser even though we're in canada so that should raise some red flags but let's open the door real quick and the door is unbelievably heavy because this land cruiser is completely bulletproof what they do here this is incas armored cars they build fully armored vehicles you can shoot this thing with pistols even i think assault rifles and nothing's going to go through same thing with the escalade same thing with a lot of the cars here a lot of stuff I can't show you, a lot of stuff I can. When we go outside, I'll show you a bit more stuff, but they do civilian looking cars, but also some full on military vehicles. 
So to help us detail, uh, apparently there's a Urus S detailing kit and we're gonna use that to clean the Alcantara in my car. So that's interesting. Lamborghini glass cleaner. This looks pretty freaking fancy, but uh, yeah, more than I can afford. So this is one of the things Adam makes. As you can tell in the back, there's all these big armored trucks. We'll look at them another time. Right now, this is more of like a civilian or this will probably be used by like a secret service type of thing. This thing is fully bulletproof. You can kind of tell because it has this frame right here. The windows are completely hard. And also, I don't think we got these cars in North America anyways to begin with. But I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. So I'm going to have to kind of clickbait it. And we're going to use this as a clickbait photo. I'm very sorry, guys. So you're probably going to call me out in the comments, but it is what it is. So right now, I'm doing a little photo as if I got pulled over by like a secret service car. Sorry guys, it's clickbait. It is what it is. I don't know what to tell you, but we washed the car, the car's clean, and we're gonna go shoot some guns right now. Go to the front, go to the front. Get up. Also, can I get a big mac? I just chicken big mac with a uh, large size. So, like I said earlier in our following, Adam and his R6, we have the TTS, the M2, and the M240. We're going to go shoot some guns. I've never shot a gun in my life. Randomly, Adam said he's going to go to his farm and shoot guns, so that's what we're going to go do. So, we just got to the farm. We have all the cars here. We have the gun there, and we're going to start shooting some guns for the first time ever. Let's see how this goes, but yeah. No. What's the rules? Do not point the gun at anyone. No, seriously. No pointing the gun at anyone, always face down range, which is that way, okay, within this field. So let's say from the end of this fence right here, all the way here, okay, so pretty much into this little court. Yeah. Always aim down sight, so for everyone, our arcs of fire will be, do that fucking shed over there, that's your left arc of fire, you'll not shoot past that, other arc of fire, let's say... The far side of the fence line there, that's your right arc of fire. You will not shoot past that side. Okay. Everyone Quick. will be shooting this way, and as Adam said, um, cease fire, everyone stops, put the weapon on safe. If you can, clear it. Yet again, point the weapon down, never point at anyone directly. Um, and that's. Can we get a tutorial of the gun? Tutorial of the gun. On the right side, it means it's unsafe. You'll see there's a little red pin, red. Right, red is dead. That means the fire, the gun's ready to fire. Yeah. It's gonna shoot. Okay. And then chamber's open. Okay. It's empty. You load through here. That's a shot. Got it. Yeah. 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 It's heavy. Famous love. What the fuck is this? <laughs> you probably hit it. Okay, Benny, you're on duty. Let's go. What is this? This is your gun. You don't even know how to do this.
Yeah, he hit it. He hit it. There you go. I think three guns is a little much to handle on For the comments, we probably suck. I've never done this before. Most of them have never done this before. Adam's probably done this before. I know we suck. We're probably doing something wrong, but it is what it is for now. So we're inside Adam's farm, and for some reason, in the actual house, there's a soccer ball here. Are you actually making soccer ball in the bathroom? <laughs> Adam, I've never seen you look at a ball. Why do you have three? There's another soccer ball right fucking here. <laughs> what? No, it's a kitchen cabinet. Why? You've never even kicked a ball in your life. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so we are done with the shooting. We're gonna go check out like a local. If you're in, if you live in Toronto and you're in the cards, you definitely know it, La Paloma. It's kind of like a local plaza where it's usually if it's a nice day out, especially on a weekend, it's just full of cars. So we're gonna go there, see if anything's going on, and then probably head over there. But yeah, let's go see what we find. Now, guys, I know again, I said sorry for clickbaiting you guys, but at least I think. It was a pretty good video so far. I don't know if we're gonna do anything else or not, but I just didn't have a title for it, didn't have a thumbnail for it. So, you guys might have been misled, but I'm hoping you didn't get disappointed with the content. And honestly, I just really like making content like this. I do the car reviews and, the, and stuff, and I do, you know, vlogs for car spotting, but also just vlogs of like what we do on a Sunday. You know, we do car stuff, we do all that, and it's just cool that I'm gonna hopefully get to look back at it, you know, years from now and see the stuff we are doing, which, Know, includes cars but sometimes includes random stuff like this where we just went and shot some guns you know my first time shooting a gun which again i know i definitely did some something wrong with that video but my first time i'll still learn how to properly use the guns and all that but yeah i don't know let me know if you enjoyed videos like this again sorry about the clickbait but i hope you still enjoy the video and one more thing i am sorry about my voice i probably sound super weird right now i'm getting absolutely destroyed by allergies so my nose is completely like stuffed and yeah like i'm just sneezing all day way says cops coming up let's see if it's accurate so far nothing let's see and i think we i think we're in the clear i don't think there's any cops there oh no never mind jokes cop right there so there was nothing at La Paloma. I am currently absolutely dying of allergies. So I'm gonna end the day and the weekend here. I'm gonna go home and edit this video. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about the clickbait and I'll see you next time.